Hey guys. Oh, it's out of focus. Is it back in? Is it back in? Uh, yeah. Is it clear? It's yeah. Clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to show... Binzy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Binzy's going to get some sketch action. So I'm excited about the camera. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to draw like the British wildlife tale stories are drawn. Like a fox. Are you ready? We're not going to do a fox. Okay. No. What is the most popular type of animal in the British wildlife tales? Book? Birds. Birds. So what bird do you want to do? Uh, robin. Robin. Okay. Uh, Robins so, are very special in our family. Yeah. They are. I think they're in lots of people's families, aren't they? Everyone's got a robin in their garden that means something to them, haven't Everyone. they? Everyone. <clears throat> so here goes. We always draw with shapes in the British Wildlife Tales. Say hi, Binzy. She's just cleaning the floor. Um, we always draw with shapes, and robins are built out of circles. Are you with us? <laughs> are built out of circles, triangles, and rectangles with bits missing. <laughs> Straight lines as well. That just sounds weird. Circles, triangles, rectangles with a bit missing, uh, with bits missing, and um, that just sounds weird. Why are you saying that? That just sounds weird. You'll see. You'll okay, see. Okay, she'll, okay. She'll see. Watch, and you'll <laughs> see too. Okay, so okay, we're gonna do a circle. Do it nice and light, and then we're gonna. You can't see this, can you? I'll show you it. Don't worry. And then we're gonna do another circle. And then we're going to do another circle, but we're going to not really finish these circles, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do another half a circle. Oh, yeah, for the wing. Yeah. And another circle. Then we're going to do two triangles. We're going to draw a line. Then we're going to draw another circle. Then we're going to draw a half circle there. Then we're going to put in the rectangle with a bit missing. And we're going to put a triangle in the back of the circle. Uh, it, oh no, in the back of the rectangle. Rectangle. Okay. And then we're going to put a straight line, another straight line, three more straight lines, and another couple of straight lines at the back. We're getting there, but we need another circle. And then another circle outside that. See where we're going. Can anyone even see this? Want to see it a bit closer? Focus, can That's how we do it. Can you even see that, guys? Can they even see that? We're going to play this back, check it, and if we can't see it, we're not going to post the video. But if you can see it on the video, we're going to post it. And Bear we'll with probably us. Probably post it. We might do another one. Is that right? You might do because otherwise, how are they going to see you? Lovely we'll drawing. find out. Don't yeah. worry about things like that. Don't worry. Anyway, don't we've just got don't basically worry. the robin here. Yeah, but we we just need to add detail and probably colour in. I've got the colours here. We've got some colours. Yeah, we've got some colours. Okay, we can colour it. We'll be back right right now. No, we'll be Bye. back in a minute. Bye. We'll be back in a minute. Bye. First circle. We don't want to make it a whole circle. Yeah, we can. And then we want to do a second circle. Again, we don't want to make it a whole circle. We want to make it because we need to leave a bit at the back. Okay. Then we got to put two triangles in. Yeah. And then just make a third triangle out of these two triangles with this line here. Okay. Another circle. For the eyes. Another circle. Eyesy and another circle. And then a semicircle, another semicircle, a straight line, another straight line, a rectangle with a bit missing, put a triangle in the end of it, another line, and then four lines right there. That's it. Oh, hang on. Robin Redbreast. Robins have got kind of a mask. 
and a red breast. Now all we need to do is put the colour in. Okay? Okay. So, Hope, have you got a brown pen? Brown pen? Brown. Okay. Why is the scrapping drawing it? Because we just need to demonstrate, that's all we need to do, roughly how it's done. So the back of the bird is brown, oh. the top of the wing is brown, the wing is brown, and the tail is brown. I have a lighter brown. We need a red. A red. Oh, I bet Hope's not got a red. No, wait, I have. She has, it's okay. I will go and get it. Pause for a minute, guys. Okay, so we're back now. Hope's found a, a red gel pen. It will have to do. She's eating sweets. She, she's eating sweets. She's eating sweets. Yeah. Okay, right. That's what you get them in Tesco. At least they're Haribo. Um, get them in Tesco. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to repl totally <laughs> get them in te Tesco. Right. So, red pen. The Robin has a red face and a red breast. Not just a red breast. So here goes. <laughs> you just, just said add not some just colour. a red breast. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So there's a red face and a red breast. If they can see we it. now need a black pen, another black gel pen. Yeah. <laughs> the, the beak is largely black. Okay. Yeah, it's not all black, all but right. and largely then black. We're going to make the legs a little thicker. Uh huh. Anyone spot what I've done wrong? Uh huh. With the legs. Yeah. Yeah. What is it, Hope? You are going to colour them in black. No. Oh no, no. The problem is, both the legs are on one, one side of the body. Really, this one should have ended around about here. So we should have stopped drawing the line for the legs. Can you see that? Well, we for this, for this leg here. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> we should have stopped drawing the line for the legs here. We but never mind, it doesn't matter. We could so, put white tack over it. So the white <laughs> we could do that. We could put white tack over it. I've got some hair. Okay. We're just going to go over the outline. Doesn't matter how scruffy you do this. Doesn't matter how scruffy, we're just practicing. You get that from Henderson's, so. Henderson? <laughs> you guys won't have a Henderson's perhaps, because uh, you might be in New York City or you might be in Strathclyde. Or in Sweden, or, so. Or in Malmo. Um, or anywhere else in the world. But, and. We do here in England, so. If you're in New York City, you probably won't be drawing a European robin. You'll probably be drawing a, an American robin, which is similar, but a lot bigger. Very similar, but very big. <laughs> or maybe a blue jay. Yeah. Okay. So, really, really, doesn't matter how neat your lines are, because all we're doing is we're practicing here. So just roughly, just doing right. it. So... What we do, once we've done this, oh, hang on, we're going to put the eye in. Can I just give you some, can you see that okay? We are the squidgy, what? We are the squidgy squad. Oh, it's raspberry, cherry, strawberry, apple. We're going to colour the eye in. We're going to leave the tiniest the circle in the eye, whilst Hope talks about her sweeties. <laughs> no. That's candy to you guys over the pond. Mm -hmm. uh, can be to you guys in New York City or in LA, Chicago, <laughs> wherever you are. Right, so that's the eye. You can see how we're doing there. Uh, can I hope rustle up a pink paint for me? I have a hot pink. This colour. Okay, we're going to do some shading. Shading under the wing. Do some shade. I don't need it yet. It's a worm. Just need to get it. No, it's a bit too bright. <laughs> okay. We do some shading at the bottom here because the sun is kind of on top of the bird, shining down from over here. Okay, that's the sun. The sun's going to shine down in this direction. So we're going to put some shading on the bird.
I'm going to put some shading on the wing too. But I don't need your pink. Yeah, I do. I'll need it in a minute. A bit more shading under there. Darken the bottom of the beak. Darken the bottom of the top beak. Now, this is when we need the pink because the inside. Oh, oh, this is the wrong pink. Okay. Never mind. This is the wrong kind of pink. We're oh, going to sorry, darken it off. I don't really want the sweeties because sweeties are not that great for you. Well, that's well, that's just you saying that. Yeah. Well, no. That's just me being. In... That's me being right. No. <laughs> you don't need to be right on everything. Well, it's good to be right on healthy stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, but you don't have to always eat healthy. It's he does. Dead simple. That's it. We've kind of roughed out a robin. Yeah, we've um, you can, done You can it, spend a bit more time uh, drawing this, but, but this is kind of how we've done it. We've just um, done it to make the video... To show you guys. Oh, well, I hope we'll tell you. We've Go just on. done it to make the video nice and quick and easy to do, so... Exactly. Okay, right. Yeah, this is our robin. Oh, I was going to kind of talk then. I hope we'll do it for you. <laughs> Go on. This is our robin we drew. And why have we done it? And we've done it to show you guys um why how much this robin means to us and also because exactly we want to show you we want um, to show you how to draw yeah because it's and, so easy and, and also, it just means circles one circle two, two circles, circles semicircle semicircle triangle also, triangle triangle rectangle and, with a bit missing and a v at the end and also, line 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 and also, <laughs> and oh, <laughs> stop that. And also, um, <laughs> also, we did it to show you guys how to do it the British Wildlife Tales way. That's the way we do it. If any of you would like to see more illustrations, uh, you can take a look at bit. Uh, <laughs> Let me start that again. You can take a look at www.britishwildlife. You say it, Hope. I can't speak. www.britishwildlifetales.co.uk Or follow us on Twitter or Insta or Facebook on at GB We're not on there yet. At GB Wildlife Tales. And that's GB Wildlife Tales. T-A-L-E-S. British Wildlife Tales isn't on it, but we are. <laughs> She's still talking about musically. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. Follow us. Have a look. You can check out all of the books that I've illustrated and drawn, we'll illustrated and, uh, and written on www.britishwildlifetales.co.uk. There are four books on there. There's some other stuff on there as well, but that's kind of the boring stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, the rest Don't of the stuff is that. really cool. Um, what's coming up soon is two more books. Uh, written by Tim Gardner Andrew. and I, I illustrated them yeah uh, and these are insect adventures so um, stay tuned keep checking back on the website and we'll see you again soon bye